Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Raptor Dad Gaming, and in this video, I'm gonna show you my PC and DCS settings for Reshade. So, let's get started. First, these are my GPU settings. I do have an Nvidia graphics card, and so that's what you're seeing here. Done a lot of research, watched a lot of videos, ultimately kinda came up and did my own little thing here, so this is ultimately the result of all that. Um, ambient occlusion, every now and then, I'll kinda go back and forth with. I've noticed it's got about a three to four frame difference for some reason, so I'll go back and forth between quality and performance. Uh, for the rest of this stuff, I can't claim to know a lot about it, so I'm just gonna let it play through. If you have questions, I'll try to help you. I'll Google it and uh, we'll figure it out together. From here, we'll go ahead and jump into DCS and I'll show you my in-game settings. All right, so we're in DCS. You can see the majority of the settings here. What I really want to draw your attention to is the SSAA and the MSAA, Super Sampling Anti-Aliasing. Yeah, I googled it earlier, I'm so proud of myself. Anyway, with my reshade presets, you have to have at least 1.5 for the SSAA. If you have MSAA, you will not be able to use a cinematic DOF, which really makes the game pop. Uh, you can use, again, you have to use at least 1.5. If you decide to go times two, well, Let's go ahead and jump into the game, put everything together, and see how it looks. Alright, so we're in the game, and immediately you notice it looks pretty blurry. This is the advanced depth of field. It likes to put a little bit more emphasis on the item that's closest to you. In that case, it was the cockpit. So now, it's focusing on the Hornet, and moderately the background is kind of blurred. But uh, this preset is available in my Discord, and a link will be in the description. Be sure to check it out, it's super easy to download. So earlier I talked about cinematic DOF, uh, cinematic depth of field. Make some edits here to the aperture. And this is just really cool. Like I said, you can put a little bit more emphasis on a particular item. Uh, you can use your mouse to focus it. And it's just really cool to draw a little bit more emphasis on whatever you want to focus on. So here, I can kind of show you a little bit better. See the hornet's a little bit blurred out. Can adjust the aperture a little bit and then bam. See the background is a little bit further zoomed out, but that the Hornet itself is actually looking pretty sharp. So we'll slow playing around here and you can kind of see what I mean by that. So next we'll look at the SU-30. We're actually doing some BFM here. I'm going to fast forward, we'll get close to it, and we'll see how you can actually apply it. So we're next to the SU-30. I'm going to reduce the aperture a little bit. Get back on there. And what this will do is make it for a smaller area of focus wherever the mouse is on. So you see now the SU-30 is a little bit blurred out. And I've got more emphasis on the F-18. Again, just something to kind of make the photos pop a little bit more. Next, I want to talk about gamma. Now, the gamma is a really big portion of this because you can see here, if you overdo it, it looks overexposed, very kind of washed out, if you will. And of course, inversely, you go the other direction, and then you have a little bit too much in regards to the shadows, it looks very dark. And so with each of my presets, I try to specify what the ideal gamma is. For this one, it's about 2.6, 2.8 you can get away with. And of course, you can adjust it as needed, or as you prefer even. That's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, consider liking and subscribing. If you have additional questions, feel free to reach out to me in the Discord. Wrapped that out, thanks for watching.